happening here in Sacramento. Hey, who's hey, good morning to you, Jordan. Thank you so much. I love this. The home base for Foster Hope Sacramento is getting a much needed outdoor facelift as volunteers from all over the region help beautify the garden. Angel Cardenas, he's getting his hands dirty too, and he's live with more. Good morning to you. Not, yeah, not yet. Not yet. Good morning. You good took morning, the tie everyone. off. Hands aren't dirty yet. Took the tie off. I, you know, had to had to spend a little time in the break room, eat some donuts. You know, had to get loose, had to get ready to do some work. I promise you, I will do something out okay, here. I promise right. you. But yeah, as you mentioned, okay, uh, Foster Hope Sacramento. They are completely remodeling the side of the building here. It started off, I hear, as just a, a simple install some bamboo, make it look pretty, but then it turned into this wonderful thing. All these people volunteering, helping out. And uh, Doug Newton here, tell us about uh, what's going on and how important this is and who, who it benefits. You know, it's amazing. This started out as a really small project. Uh, the United Way asked us if 10 folks could come and do some light landscaping work. <laughs> oh my goodness, has it spiraled from there. We've got a couple of landscaping companies involved, lots of partners, all here to help create an incredibly uh, essential place for the visitation of families with foster children here at Foster Hope Sacramento. Which is so important because once it's finished, you know, they don't want to meet in that room. They want to get out and enjoy the fresh air and the beautiful landscape uh, area. You know, getting a little sunshine is never overrated. And it's, it's so important for kids and families to have a nice place to interact. And we are not in the business of endangering children, so we want to keep them away from the busy road behind us and give them a nice place to interact. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to run over real quick. Tony, come on down, Tony. Tony is putting in the fence with his crew. What are the plans doing? for the How fence? It's going to look nice, right? Yes, sir, it is. It's going to look very nice. So I work for EPS Remodel. We're here going to be building this um, white picket fence. Oh, and uh, that's basically that. the goal today for our company is uh, to complete this today. So Right on, Tony. Hats off to you. Thank you. Defense for Tony. Defense. Defense. We're going to find Beth. <laughs> Where are you, Beth, with the United Way? Hey Beth, How's it going? how are you? Beth with Good. United Way, you are uh, putting in some work here. You have your shovel. Tell yep. us about your uh, contribution today. Well, I'm with First Service Residential, and um, we're just living our core value of being genuinely helpful. And um, we were going to play with some bamboo for these guys. Then I called Coast Landscape, and all the rest of this happened. Thank you, Kelly Moore, for donating the paint too that, for the tires. That's what I'm talking about, Beth, right here. High five, making a difference over here at the Foster Hope. And our friend Dave here with Site One. Dave, you guys are involved. A lot of good people on your team. Absolutely. Our uh, customers reached out to us, asked if we can help. We uh, donated some supplies, and uh, you know this is part of what we do, giving back to our community. That's what that's I'm talking fantastic. about, Dave, right here, right here. And we're going to finish up with our friend Latrice, <laughs> Latrice, who is a foster parent and out here helping out. Yeah. Tell us about the importance of. Uh, of being a foster parent? It's, I've been a foster parent for 15 years and being able to help make a place for kids to be able to come out and play and, and be with their families is amazing. So mm -hmm. a time for First Service to partner with the community is amazing. Thank you. That's awesome. She came right yeah. here. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, my friends. Yes. Doug Newton and his whole team it takes making a, a difference for the kids and for the families, right? It takes a village. They're out here doing it. Now it's right. time for me to Put down the microphone yes. and get dirty. And get dirty. You know, Back to you guys. I love this. This gave me all the all feels, right? right? To, to see it. all these people doing amazing things <laughs> for kids in our area. Love that. Oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Angel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Again, if you have a story about someone doing good in your community, in your neighborhood, we'd love to hear about it. Give them a little recognition that they deserve for doing the good. Uh, go ahead and email us. Good day at kmaxtv.com. Jordan McAfee. All right. Thanks, Elisa. Angel out there putting